Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so glad you came back here. Today we're making vegan scallop potatoes. I'm gonna be doing a series of different recipes coming up because we do have Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, I'm Canadian, so my Thanksgiving comes up in, in October, so lucky me. Now that I live in the States, I get two. Two is way better than one. And I should have introduced myself. I am so sorry, my name is Vicki Lynn, and I like to call this Cooking Vegan with Vicki. And if you're liking my recipes or this video, hit the subscribe button below so you'll note your and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So we're first going to start with our potatoes, and I have a bowl of water here because I'm going to um, slice my potatoes first. Oh, one went down. Give that a quick wash. Okay. And I'm just using a mandolin, so the cooking time will vary depending on um, how thick you make your potatoes. So you can do it any way you want. I'm just gonna do the mandolin just so that they're uniform. And a few of the ingredients are obviously potatoes for um, our scallop potatoes. We're gonna use some onion, some nutritional yeast. I have some spices that will go through. I'm using almond milk and a combination of coconut creamer, just because that's what I had left over. I wanted to use it up so it didn't go bad. Some vegetable bouillon, a little bit of Dijon mustard, and then some arrowroot or cornstarch. We're gonna make a little slurry to thicken up the sauce. You're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 425. And so I'm just basically going to start slicing the potatoes nice and thin. And then we're going to put them in the, an ice, just a water bath, just so they don't oxidize. And you should always use the little guard that comes with it because if you know me, and I think you guys are starting to get to know me, I would slice my fingers. So we're going to put those in. And then we're just going to continue. having issues today with my my fingers or my potatoes I'm not sure I can't even make this up guys I'm sorry this is real life so we're almost on our last potato again can't even make this up guys Apparently I'm having issues with my hands today. Anyway, so now we're just gonna put our potatoes in here while we do the rest of our ingredients. And so the next thing that we're going to just get ready is we're gonna slice up some onion. So this is one whole onion. You can do more, you can do less. I like them nice and thin because we're gonna layer this. So I don't know what everybody else likes, Put a comment below on some of your favorite um, dishes for Thanksgiving. I'm going to do quite a few, um, from dressings to different types of potatoes, mashed potatoes, I like scallop potatoes, all of our favorite veggies. So if there's something that you would like me to try to veganize for you, let me know where you are so I can kind of figure out what supplies you have, whether you're in Canada or the US. All right, so the next thing now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our sauce and it's very simple and we're gonna go over to the stove and I'll go through the ingredients there and you'll, we'll put it together. Bouillon. And I'm actually using a better bouillon. Yeah, 
nice. So now we have our sauce all done. It's thickened up in the pot. Now just remember, you don't want it to be extra thick, like a thick gravy. You want it to still be a little bit loose because we're gonna bake this in the oven and it's gonna thicken up some more. So I've drained our potatoes. The other thing you can do is when you're making your potatoes, or just leaving them to soak, you can also put baking soda in the water. That'll keep them white and bright and help them to not discolor. So we're gonna put in a nice layer on the bottom. You can put it as thick as you want. Actually, I have a lot of potatoes here, so I'm gonna make it a nice thick one. And then what I like to do is layer potatoes and onions. This is no exact science here. We're just gonna throw them all in the pot. Make sure they're all happy together. Okay, we're gonna layer in some of the onions that we peeled and chopped. I like them in half moons. You could do them as chopped or full moons or any, any way you want them. They're gonna cook down, they're gonna be delicious. And I actually used a sweet onion, but you could use just a regular cooking onion. My mom always just used cooking onions then we'll put in the rest. You know what, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of the sauce just on this layer. Nice and thick. All right. Now we're gonna put the remainder of our potatoes in. And again, the cooking time is going to depend on how thick you cut your potatoes. And I'm just gonna leave the heels out, just to make it easier. So we're gonna start this um, for about 35 minutes at 425, and I'm going to actually cover this um, with the lid. And then after 35 minutes, we're going to take the lid off, and then we're gonna let it cook another 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure all the potatoes are nicely cooked. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now we're just going to put the rest of our sauce on and actually that does seem a little bit thick so I'm actually gonna, I do have a splash of the coconut creamer that's left. I'm gonna use that and again you have to play with it. Don't be afraid not gonna hurt anything. I just want it to thicken up, but I do want it to be able to coat everything. Now, if you wanna make these cheesy, you can put on some grated cheddar cheese. Um, there is some nutritional yeast in here, but you could add more. I like, I'm kind of a simple, I like the the regular way. Let's just put it the just the plain Jane way for these scalloped potatoes. Okay. Now we have everything in there. I'm going to top it off with the rest of the onions. Super easy. And you can pre prepare this ahead of time. You can par cook it. So if you're having, you know, people over for Thanksgiving or a dinner, you can par cook it, only cook it halfway, and then warm it up in the oven and cook it the rest of the way. This is a really versatile recipe. And I'm going to top mine with a little vegan Parmesan. And that's how I like it. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the lid on, and then I'm gonna put this in the oven at 425.